what is up guys and welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to talk about jailbreak in tweaks i haven't done this video before and i have not made anything similar i believe maybe once i don't even remember but today is a great day i was able to jailbreak my iphone xr 12.1.1 um, beta 3 this video is not a tutorial on how to jailbreak but this video is about tweaks from Celio. So I basically have 20 tweaks, the best needed tweaks for free. Obviously everything is for free, I don't have any paid ones, except for one, except for one that is really necessary, but I haven't paid for it, but like it's really necessary if you have a jailbreak and it's really good. And it's kind of worth paying for, that's the only one. And then you have 19 others that are free, so let's dive into it. All right, starting with our first tweak, it's called Bar XS. That's a paid tweak and that's the first one and all the rest are free. So this one basically will not block your screen when someone calls you or when you call someone as you can see at the very bottom. You can make it in the bottom, you can make it at top, you can go wherever you want using your phone or if you're playing a game or anything. It will never block you again and it's really easy and simple and I believe this is really necessary. So. The second one is no beta expired alerts. It's simple, it's obvious, basically it will stop all these beta alerts that you keep getting and you have to close it. I tried like four or five different ones and no, no one of these tweaks worked. This is the first tweak that I actually tried and it works. I'm using iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 on my iPhone XR and it works perfectly. I'll leave the repo in the description and with the name, so all you have to do is add the repo and search for the name. And that was our second one. All right, so for number three, we have something called a record and torch. What this does basically, it tweaks your main camera application. When you go to your video and you start recording a video, it's going to allow you to um, turn the flash on and off while recording, because without that, you'll have to um, stop the video, turn it on or turn it off and close the video again. So this will allow you to have your torch on and off at any given time which is really good because sometimes I need that at some specific moments when I record and I need my flash and I need it off and I don't really want to stop the video. So yeah, that's a good one. I know guys, this is probably boring because all I do is have the camera on my face and I talk, but I really have no other camera that I can record my iPhone screen. If I could, I really would have to record my screen and then, you know, showed you how this works. I can record my screen, but then it would be a little bit too hard for me because I'm using my phone to record myself. Maybe in the future, once this channel grows, um, I'll buy another camera to make better videos because right now I only have one camera, which is my phone. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that helps me grow and helps me get better equipment in the future. Anyways, for our next one, it's called CC on and off. I've always wanted this. What this basically does, you know, if you go to your um, CC, which is control panel, and you have your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your whatever that is there, and if you click on your Wi-Fi or on your data, like your 4G or your Bluetooth, what it basically normally it would do, it would gray it out. But in this case, it would completely turn it off. So you don't have to go to your settings and turn off your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. But from the CC, you click it once, it completely turns it off. You click it on again, it's on. So there's no need for the um, normal way where it keeps it on in the background. Um, I don't know what they actually do, but yeah, I don't like that. So this one would completely turn it off and completely turn it on. So that's another one. Number five is called Notifica. This one is really cool. It changes how your notifications are. It was made by Nepeta. It can change the banner, the widget, the details, and a lot of stuff. It looks really cool. The color is gonna change according to the application, and they're gonna look more. They're gonna look more modern. You can try to test them and stuff. I would really recommend this one. It makes the iPhone notifications more alive and more like um, colorful. It goes very good with one of the upcoming tweaks, which you will see, which also is gonna color some badges. Stay tuned for our sixth week we have no low power auto lock basically what this week does is if you have your phone on low battery mode it will not turn off your screen which is really good because i hate that my screen turns off on low battery mode sometimes i need it to stay on and i just would love to turn it off turn it off myself i know this is how the battery low battery works but i just need this feature i thought you might need it too so i'm just dropping it here the next one is low battery banner. 
which means you know when you get the low battery you'll have this pop-up box and you have to close it and it tells you or you know you have 10% left you have 20% left well this makes um, this changed the whole thing to a banner so instead of this annoying box that you have to close basically a banner will slide down and you have to even um, I mean you have to either let it be or yeah it can just you know swipe up and it's gone it's much easier and it's less annoying so I think that's something you might like number eight on the list it's called easy edit alarms what this does basically it will allow you to edit your alarms without clicking the edit button on the top right all you have to do is click the alarm itself and it, and it will open the um, editing options and you can just edit whatever you want from there so yeah simple and easy the next one is really nice especially if you're a siri fan now we all know if you toggle siri if you say hey siri you know um okay i was afraid that it, it would turn on turn on while i'm recording but it didn't um you will get the whole screen of siri and it's annoying what this basically does it makes the screen much smaller it's like a banner on top with siri um it's really good it's really nice and it doesn't take a lot of space and it can be done anyway you know it won't block your screen or anything so it's really good and i love it bar moji ladies and gentlemen number 10 on the screen what on the screen what screen i mean yeah maybe this is a screen but like whatever number 10 tweak it's called bar moji what this does is you know this um small space you have under your keyboard oh shoot you know and you don't really know what to do um, with that space so what they did is they took that space and they added most frequent used emojis so you don't have to go to your emojis keyboard and you know get your emoji so that's really good it takes no space you know it replaces that empty space with the emojis and it's much faster than you know rather than going to your emoji keyboard choosing going back to your normal keyboard so that's really good that's really nice and i love how it looks so 10 out of 10 11 it's called boulders now what this is it makes your folder in full screen and if you have like let's say you know you have to swipe through your folders because you have like two full folders or two full screens inside your folders you can have them all in one because what this does is expands your folder into the whole screen and it looks really beautiful i hate that you know the way it looks right now and boulders made it look amazing i really the next one is iCleaner. iCleaner has gotten support for the iOS 12. Basically, it's a tool to help you clean your phone. You can quickly free up clutters from your iPhone, reclaim some gigabytes maybe, you know, or lo um, of the lost space. It doesn't really remove anything necessary, like uh, anything you might be worried about. It just removes unnecessary files like unused language files and keyboards. And voice control languages and some other stuff like temporary files and cage files and stuff you don't really need so this is really good if you want to free up some space so check it out next on the list is vesta vesta is an app drawer basically it's something like android you can swipe up and with it, and it will open all your um, applications in one place you can search type your application name and it will show up um, you can also, it allows you to hide um, files, or not files, I mean, hide applications from the home screen that you don't want, but they will still show in the app drawer. It will allow you to have some gestures to like either swipe from the right corner, the left corner, and so on to open the app drawer. So what I do basically, I hide, I hide the application I don't need in my home screen, and then I keep them in the app drawer, and when I need something that I rarely use, I go to my app drawer and I search for it. It's really nice, really useful, and... I'll leave a link in the description below. The next one is Color Me Badge. What this basically does, it creates custom um, notification badges for each application according to the color. For example, Twitter will have a blue um, notification badge, maybe messages or WhatsApp will have a green one. Facebook will have a dark blue, Snapchat will have a yellow, and folders will have different ones. You can actually play around and stuff. And it looks really beautiful. It gives this, you know, um, special unique color look, and I really love it. So that's something I believe you would love. Number 15, Melior. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this is really important and something you really need. I believe you all, we all get annoyed of the um, volume bar, you know, in the middle of the screen. It's big, it's huge, it's annoying, it blocks the screen. Melior is here to save you. It's a free tweak and it will allow you to 
um, choose the size and the position of the volume bar it will get on the side like a small one here or a small one here or something like here or something like there it's really useful really useful really useful really nice and um, you should get that you should really get that like really really get that not even joking like go get it right now the next one is called double tap lock simple and easy all you have to do double click on your home screen and it locks it Number 17 is called battery percent X. Obviously all these are free. What battery percent X will do, it will change your battery and look to a percentage. You can play around with the colors and stuff. And I really love that because I hate the stock ones. And then this one makes me just happy, you know? I just see the number there. No need to like estimate how much battery I have left, this and that. So next one is auto unlock X. This makes the unlocking process faster, especially, you know, we who have the newer iPhones with the face ID. What this basically does is once you put your phone in front of your face, usually it unlocks and you have to swipe up to go to the home screen. What this does, it removes that swiping and as soon as it goes to your face, it recognizes it, it opens automatically. It has a retry, you can, you know, change the retry time after one second, two seconds and so on. It also um, have, you know, disable if you have notifications, disable if you're playing music. So once you put it on, it doesn't open automatically if you have notifications and so on. Really good, really needed and something that would make um, your life uh, much better because it's much easier to unlock your phone, you know. Well, it won't make your life better, but it just will make you unlocking your phone much faster, basically. The next one is Anemone 3. I know it's probably spelled it or I pronounced it wrong. I don't know how you say it. it sounds weird. Basically, this is a theme tweak. It will tweak your um, folders and files and applications to make them look much prettier, much different. You can install different themes from um, Cilio. This one is really good. You really need it if you're a fan of, you know, customizing your application uh, application files application uh, you know applications basically i would go with lotus theme it's really beautiful i love it as you can see um yeah basically that's that's it really nothing more the last one ladies and gentlemen it's called floaty dock this one basically gives you the ipad dock you can have more than one um more than one more than four you can have five sticks. I don't know how many you can have. I'm not sure what the limit is. Um, on your dock, you know, applications. You can have your recent on the right. You can have your favorite and so on and so on. Basically, not nothing much. Something cool if you love to have more in your dock. If you like, if you love to, you know, swipe up and find it and all that fancy stuff. You know, not my thing, but I thought you guys would love it. So yeah, that's that's it. That's all twenty. Yeah, that that was it basically. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Um, I know this was not a quality video, but if you've made it so far, thank you. I appreciate you being here. Um, obviously, my equipment are limited. That's why you see me do what I'm doing right now. Nothing too fancy, nothing too like, you know, wow. I know, but like we all start somewhere. So if you just came here, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This button will motivate me to make more videos and it will motivate me to, you know, do more basically. And maybe one day this channel will blow up. I'll get some revenue from the videos, buy a better camera, buy more equipment, buy better mic if this is not good enough and so on and so on so thank you thank you thank you for being here and make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on notifications give this a like and let me know what next video you want to see and thank you and goodbye